Today we're going to have one more lesson on long suffering, but this day, the long suffering that we need to display as the believers of Christ. Let's see what God has for us today. How long must I suffer this? Mark 10, 29, And Jesus answered and said, Verily I say unto you, There is no man that hath left house or brethren or sister or father or mother or wife or children or lands for my sake and the gospels, but he shall not receive a hundredfold now in this time. Houses, brethren, and sisters, and mothers, and children, and lands, with persecutions, and in the world to come, eternal life. Second Thessalonians 1, 4, 5, So that we ourselves glory in you, in the churches of God, for your patience and faith, and in all your persecutions and tribulations that you endured which is a manifest token of the righteous judgment of God, that you may be counted worthy of the kingdom of God, for which you also suffer. And let's not forget Second Timothy 3, 10 through 14. But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long-suffering, charity, patience, persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me in Antioch, and Iconium, and Lystra, what persecutions I endured, but out of them the Lord delivered me. Yea, and all that live godly in Christ shall suffer persecutions. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. Did you read that in the last scripture? Evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. Now, I don't know if you realize this, but as I study out these words, I learn new things all the time while doing these Bible studies, as I hope you do as well. I would have never seen the importance of long-suffering had I not studied it in the manner that we have. So long-suffering is a very important tool in our arsenal. We're going to need long suffering with people, people that we work with, people that we talk with, our friends, our family, even our spouses. We're going to need long suffering. Sometimes the best use of the English language is to actually say nothing. Sometimes we need to just hold our peace and let somebody else vent their feelings. We have to begin to understand, church, that as the day approaches that Jesus will come very soon, we, the children of God, those the church of God, waiting for the, for the Lord to return, evil men and seducers are going to wax worse and worse. We are going to see even worse things transpire in front of our eyes to the astonishment of our soul and spirit that anybody could be so perverse. Every day, as you have, I'm sure, thought it could not get worse, you turn over the page, you get a glimpse of something, and they have outdone themselves once again with their evil and their um, insanity. Let's just call it what it is. But you know what? We are the children of God, and we wait with long suffering for the return of our Savior, Jesus Christ and to make this world the right way, the way that he's always intended it to be, you, my friends, my family, my church family, we are the people that need to learn to use long-suffering so that we can find ourselves pleasing in the eyes of our King, our Savior, our Lord, Jesus Christ, who has promised to soon return. Well, I pray that this has been beneficial to you. May God keep you and watch over you. And I pray you join me tomorrow as we look at another aspect of the fruits of the Spirit as seen in Galatians 5. God bless. The Lord keep you. I am learning so much. We learn so much. 